Hey folks, it's Hugh Sweeney here and right in front of me on this table here is my Rhino Slider Kit and it comes in this lovely bag. I love this bag. It's got a really nice zipper. I actually have it open. Good quality zipper. This guy come just uh, unzips as well and lets you create this little sort of ramp. It'll uh, give you extra space for the motor or the flywheel. So inside the bag we have the slider itself. So now we will get rid of the bag and have a look at the slider. Now the first thing I noticed, this is gonna sound so funny, the smell of rubber from the, from this guy, just this rubber plate. It's a horrible rubber smell, I fucking hate it. It's on the arc as well, I don't know why, but I just hate that smell. Anyway, that's just a personal thing, uh, you might like it. Um, okay, so we've got these feet on the side, we'll just open them up and see how they go. They're notched, which means that they lock into a, a certain position. Now that is off, so I'll just open that a little bit more, let it slide down, and there that should be it. So that's your slider. Now it's very short. I was going to get um, the longer one, the 40, the 48 inch or the 42 inch, whatever it is. But I decided to get the Arc instead and I was buying some other um, items and I just decided, as I said, just for now, just to leave it at this and I can always come back and buy longer legs for it, okay? So I'm liking this, what I see so far, it's got this little lock here which stops that moving if you want to transport it. The belt comes already assembled in it, this little rubberized belt. Underneath it you have the screw fixing here which is already in place and this is for, we'll say, the... Um, a tripod mount or other mounts if you want and it's got threaded fixings here if you want to mount the ends on something else like a light stand or tripod mounts something like that okay the flywheel is the wheel that you just spin like that and it'll give you uh, nice control it comes with this guy here which is the actual motor for the device itself which connects up here and it is built like a tank okay <laughs> as is this guy right here, which is the actual control surface for it. Very metallic structure, strong metal. It's got this nice little jog wheel on it as well for control and stuff. And it's got um, a click. Oh my God, why did they have to make it so loud? That is crazy. And it's got a button there. It's got connections on the side. I've got this little guy here as well, which is a nice little feature. It is a, um, that is like a little strap that goes on your tripod and it will let you connect to the uh, control surface. That is a strong magnet, look at that, Jesus. So that'll let you just put that on the, on the tripod, okay? Now it comes with the USB cable as well, uh, and a camera cable. Now I got one or two camera cables, I got a Canon, Canon camera and a Panasonic camera cable to connect up the cameras in the event you should want to shoot a time lapse or something like that, okay? Now we also have the documentation, these little booklets, there's not much going on in these. Um, now here is the Rhino Arc again. Horrible rubber smell, oh my God, I wish they didn't, I wish they didn't put that on it. <laughs> I know I'm being very particular there. It's got a USB cable as well. It's got this little Rhino connection as well. That's a charger, I think, for this guy. So that is pretty much it. I, I got myself a, a Manfrotto as well, a ball head, which would be quite convenient as well. Okay, what I'm gonna do now is press pause on one of the cameras here, and I'm gonna set this up and see how it works out, okay? Putting the Rhino slider together is extremely straightforward. Just simply screw the motor onto the side which has the gearing, attach the Cat5 control cable, position the legs, or else add the slider to a tripod. Okay, now I have set it up. Great control, look at that. Just stops itself. It has this nice, um, sort of slow... Yeah, you have great control over the speed. I mean, you can just do nice slow movements. Awesome. I decided to first set the slider up without using the Rhino Arc. So after trying out the slider with a few different moves, I decided to add the Rhino Arc. To attach the Arc, just simply screw it onto the mounting screw, then center it with the cable connections facing outwards at 90 degrees, then tighten it in place with the Allen key provided. When fixing a tripod head onto the arc, 
Make sure to hold the arc by the top rotating part and not the bottom part to avoid putting pressure on the gearing. So now it's set there on the kind of classic interview, just over and back, you can just leave it like that, uh, focus in on your, your subject, let them just um, talk away, and this is ideal for my own videos, if I want to sit down and just have this moving away in the background. Now you'll notice, I don't know if the, the mic is picking it up, but there's a sound out of it, but the reason it's, there's a sound is because it's on this sort of boxy table here, so it's reverberating a little bit. But if you put this on a tripod, it'll be much, much quieter and you won't, you won't hear the sound. It's pretty cool. I really like the build quality of this Rhino slider. It screams quality, but it still isn't perfect. I'm not crazy about the really loud, really loud clicking of this device here. It's a bit too, just a little bit too clunky. The screen of the device here is very, very simple. The graphics are just a simple kind of blue. They're not the best graphics, not the best screen I've ever seen. Uh, maybe this could be a sort of device that could be used with a mobile phone, like some of the DJI gear is. Also the cabling here, uh, you gotta be careful of the cabling that it doesn't get caught in the wheel. The device itself, it's a 24 inch, but as far as I, I see here, it actually only moves 17 and a half inches, according to this. Um, that's all it moves, so you're, getting, you're only getting like 1.5 feet of lateral movement, so you might want to get bigger rails, okay? The Rhino Arc is very easy to set up, I thought it would take me longer. As I said, very easy to set up, the case is awesome, the feet, the parts go together really nice. I do believe this is probably uh, one of the quickest sliders to set up. I like it, I'm glad I bought it, I paid full price for it. I'm not affiliated with any company or anything. This is just my own review. I needed a slider that I could just bring with me for these sort of smaller movements, really fine movements, because I've been using like kind of a homemade tracking dolly. So that's why I went for this. I think it's pretty cool. I'm glad I got it. I'm gonna get bigger rails for it. And I think that's all I need then. So thanks for watching folks. I'll probably do a full review of this in due course. This is just my first initial thoughts. I'm gonna set this up on a tripod out in the field and see how I get on. So thanks for watching guys, I will chat to you soon. Okay, bye.